You know, everyone dreams of a man cave, like what we're going to show you well, now. It's actually empty, so should we go yeah, and have a look? Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to Cast TV. Hope you're all doing well. Me and Raj, how you doing Raj? Good to see you. Yes. Boss yes, man's yes. here. We are here for the Porsche event of the year, I'd say. Megaphonics, back at Boxing Gas in Oxford. Frank's event, and this is such a cool event. And for once, it looks like the weather is holding yeah, out. We were here last year and it was torrential rain most of the day. Yeah, and the year- stop the crowd there, it was super busy. In fact, the year before, it rained till about 1 p.m. Yeah. non-stop. So, you know, we're quite lucky the sun's coming through. Um, we're here with both my air-cooled Porsches. It is predominantly an air-cooled air event. So if you've got an air-cooled Porsche, you're allowed into this area and there's an area behind here which we'll show you. But if you've got uh, a non-air-cooled car, so anything 996 and above, then you have a separate parking area for that. But obviously you can walk around and look around and so on. Anyway, I'm super excited to see a huge variation of Porsches. You're gonna tell me what's what because I don't really know what I'm on Pressure's about. on, pressure's <laughs> on, yeah. So, I know most of them, but I might be using the word backdate quite a lot. <laughs> if I don't know what it is, I'm just going to say it's a backdate. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's take a look and see what's here. Guys, bumped into Frank himself. He set up Box and Gas, he set up Megaphonics. Dude, what's Megaphonics all about? It's a reunion of people more than it is anything else. I think it's it's about the people coming together, friends, family, that kind of 100%. stuff. Um, the cars are almost secondary. I mean, yes, we all love Porsches, but... It's true, I, I love the vibe of the place. It's just it awesome. There's just something for everyone, all sorts of Porsches, even the air, uh, what cooled over there. Mm. Everything, really. Just love the whole vibe about it. Thanks, dude. Just a nice, relaxed atmosphere. No pretensions, no VIP, uh, no exclusivity. It's all about inclusivity, really, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to enjoy the day, check out some cars. Weather's on our side for once, so for the yeah, moment, it's yeah. looking yeah. good. Thank you very much. Thanks for the support. All right, and yeah. I'll see you later. See you then. Cheers. The cool thing about boxing gas is Frank Cassidy has his own personal collection. It's like a man cave. It is dreams a, of dreams. It's right? a proper man cave, and you know everyone dreams of a man cave, like what we're going to show you well, now. It's actually empty. So should we go yeah, have a look? Come on. Look at all these, he's got like something of everything, really. Yeah, everything from the early 70s cars all the up to a, a 993 Turbo. A few weeks ago, we had a Porsche event at Car Security Cars and Coffee, and he bought this car down, and this is, calls it a mule, because it's a, a mixed bag. It looks super yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll drop a link in the description. He did a full sort of walk around with the car with Brad. Yep. Really interesting car. Lovely color. So yeah, this is like a proper man cave. Can you imagine, you wake up in the morning, make a coffee, your office is up there, you do your work, go for a break, you look down and you've got all your cars out and you think, you know what, which one shall I go for a drive in? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This has got to be one of my favourites of his. This is 3.5 CTR RSR, I think RSR inspired car. RSR inspired, um, yes, 1971, 72. He's driven this like all over Europe. He's done like loads of Alpine road trips, which is super cool, because most, you usually see loads of cars like this all shiny as well. They're not really driven, are mm. they? But Frank drives Drive. the hell out of all his And cars. it's super stripped out as well. There's literally nothing here. It's one bucket seat, harnesses, roll cage, steering wheel, three pedals, and a gearbox. The cool thing about this car is it's got little lists on all the cars, like, because there's always something left to do. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. Very, very cool. This is a 993 Turbo. And I've been in this car with Frank, and it is, I think it's like 550, 575 brake, maybe even more now. It's a proper track mule, and he does track it hard. GT2 inspired with the, looks awesome. the, the wings and rear spoiler. Crazy, crazy car. I love the color as well. We last saw this at Vista, and it was full of dirt, yeah. like it's been driven super hard. He just doesn't care. He, yeah. he enjoys the cars, which is really cool. And this, look at the wheels on this. Radnox dishes. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a Jubilee. Uh, so one of 911 limited edition runs of the 964. Available in only a few limited colors. 
so uh, very, very, very rare in right-hand drive as well. So this has got wider arches on it? Wider, so it's got basically like a wider turbo. body, turbo body, yeah. but without the, the turbo cool. well tail. The interior as well, blue backs on the rear seat. I'm changing my mind. This is my favourite one here. <laughs> I want this You'll one. You'll probably change your mind again soon, you know that. <laughs> yeah, this is just an amazing place. And if, just have a look around as well, all the livery, all the posters, everything Porsche related. You know, it, it is a proper man cave. And he's got a little chill area upstairs yeah. where he has all his meetings, business meetings. He's got his merch section downstairs. Yeah, super, super cool. As well as his own car collection, we've got Auto Farm here who are an independent Porsche specialist and they've moved their business here a few years ago. Yeah. They've got that unit there. They've and got all these cars here. Yeah. They've selected these, probably customer cars. Yes. Yeah, yeah let's have a look Sorry. inside Auto Farm. They're yeah, all cool. Look at this Carrera. So, yeah, That's I'm cool. going to use that word I said earlier on backdate. So, this is possibly a backdate. If I'm wrong, mm. obviously, just let me know down RSR. below. If it's an original RSR, it's worth an absolute fortune, maybe like a million pounds. These always come in funky colours. Yeah. Yellows, the blues, greens. And yeah. even 80s, so you had all these cars in crazy colours. Maybe at the Pastel time. Pastel type colours. But maybe at the time, I bet they weren't as popular as they are now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you, now, you know, these colours are making a comeback. First off the bat, they do a bit of everything about it, yeah. so as well as all these old cars, they've got 991 there. 991 GT3 RS, and we came in earlier on, so Henry was ogling over this, and I'm like, 996 GT3 RS in the faster colour. You want to talk about the 996, what is, yeah. why do you want a 996 now? Because it's a limited run, and I love limited run cars. What about the headlights? Yeah, I've got over the headlights, you know, people love the, uh, the 996 now. They've moved away from the fried egg headlight. Everyone's got used to it now. And the 996 GT3 RS is, from what I understand, there's about 140, 150 right hand drive models. Uh, I think a third of them were in the blue livery and the balance were in the red livery. So everyone says the blue ones are faster. What would you go for then? I want the blue. You want the blue? Let's actually, go. no, I want the red because the blues cost more money. The red's the <laughs> one to go for, actually. The red's the one to go for. <laughs> I suppose what uh, Auto Farm are trying to do here is show you how far they go. Yeah, they completely, completely, completely ripped out, gutted, shell, and then they work back up. Uh, got Becca Mexico retro stereo in there. That's pretty yeah, cool. That's, well, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's weird, isn't it, how some people, uh, when they see a car, they either go look at the wheels or they look at the seats or they look at the colour. Audio. Me, I look at the stereo <laughs> always for obvious reasons. <laughs> Let's have a look at the, uh, the show grand and take a look at some of the air cooled and water cooled Porsches. Hello, mate. Hey. Can't miss you. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hello, mate. Hey. You good? One of the showgrounds, one of the cool things about Megaphonics and Boxing Gas mm -hmm. is that Porsche GB are actually involved with the show. They're headline sponsors, yeah. from what I understand. So, check out behind us the huge stand that they have. They've always and got a cool selection of cars. Yeah, too. lovely collection of cars here, classics, obviously, a lot of air cooled. Should we check some out? So, check out this Carrera CS, that's real cool. Proper period, correct? Probably one for you. 993, 993 RS. Yeah, gorgeous. This phone. is pretty rare. 993 RS right-hand drive. Most of them are left-hand drive. It's a very, very, very rare car. So they, they, that was a factory thing then? Yeah, very rare. Same colour as my 993 Turbo. Do you think they came this low from factory? No, it looks a little bit lower than it's, stock. That's sit nice. That's uh, 
bit slammed. That's a bit of a bit of you, Henry. Slam sanctuary there. Yeah, hundred percent. Sitting perfectly. I've got a thing about old school race cars. So I this is a 924, 24-hour Le Mans car. Well, imagine 24 hours in a 924. <laughs> He's got one up on me. He knows a Porsche, and I don't know. I'm obsessed with like the old school period wheels that the race cars used to run. So like a set of BBS Max with the old school actual proper Porsche. I love the livery. I'm obsessed with this old yeah. school livery. Guys, we're here with Richie. Hello, How are you doing? Good morning. How are we doing? Good, good, good. He's just educating us on one of the cars that we don't know anything about. So obviously he's our Porsche guru. He's our yeah, he's our go-to yeah. guy. <laughs> His details are on the screen now. Give him a follow. Yeah. Where's your car today? My car yeah. is cut right around the other side. We'll go find it later. By the lake. <laughs> yeah. By the lake. Hope I left the handbrake on. <laughs> well, if we can't find it, it be in the I'll, lake. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a call. <laughs> <laughs> Richie's just told me actually it was raced in 1980 and it's the only race car that wore the Union Jack flag. That's pretty cool. It's actually been fully restored back to how it would have been back in the day. That's why it looks so mint. Yeah, absolutely in love with this thing. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this. Raj, what do you think of this? This is like a 60s, uh, yeah, 60s, 60s car. Porsche 804. 804. Looks like a GT40 esque. Imagine, you know? imagine yeah. racing this thing. You're literally you're sitting on, on the, floor. the floor. You're sitting on the floor. Super cool. So small as well when you think about it. Like, yeah. you know, in comparison, that is so small. It's about the length of your 6 Series, but just so narrow. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Never seen one of these before. The cool thing about this event again is the variation. Like outlaw cars, yeah, always fun to see. Over in the UK, you don't see that many of them. And you got a flat, flat nose. nose, flat nose next to that. Wow. Well, Based on I don't know 930 LE, yeah. Carrera, I have like no idea. Probably a 930. It's a D-Reg. What's that? An 87, 88, 87. What do you guys think of flat nose Porsches? It's always like a bit of a marmite thing, isn't it? But. Because they're rare, people want them. I think now that there's a massive cult following for these cars because they are pretty super rare. Okay, so I spotted something earlier. Come and look at this. Okay. Talking about flat noses, okay? It's a Gimbala GTR. So this is a GTR? Yeah, Gimbala GTR 600, up for sale with Hexagon Classics. So hit them up, details on the screen now. What do you guys think of this, this light and body kit setup? It's pretty different from, it doesn't it's, even look like a Porsche from, it looks uh, like an F40. This, this does not look like a Porsche, but. It's like F40 style headlights. This looks insane. This wing is just crazy. That's, yeah, next level. So Details. I'm assuming it's 600 brake, it's called a GTR 600. This thing will be wild on the road, absolutely wild. Love the wheels as well. And then obviously we're walking past the 959. Yes, so 959 is a lot of people's dream Porsche, I'd say, right? This is, yeah. And there's a, a lot of tech on this 959, which was passed down to the 993, my car. Yeah. It's just the body, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like, it's completely different to anything else yeah. on the road. Crazy looking car. In fact, this guy, 911 Go, he drives this car, goes everywhere. Caffeine and I've Machine, places, uh, yeah. Porsche events, Ace Cafe and so on. He's everywhere, this guy. I just love the rear end of it, it's just crazy. This must have looked so futuristic back in the day when it was produced. And it's got that like heck blend brake light that is so common on 911s mm. as well. But it's much squarer on this car, I love it. But yeah, red 964 turbo. Next to a 993 RS. Raj, what the hell is this? There's well, we've got something a bit funky about two this. speed yellow Porsches here. We've got a 993 Carrera RS there. But then we've got a 964 Turbo S. So it's a proper 3.6 S spec. A few more horses, air vents in the back, but a flat nose. Look at the lights. Yeah, and it's right hand drive as well. Extremely rare. Probably one of one, if anything. Super crazy that they did stuff like this from factory. Yeah. 
Okay, so these both these cars are here with Ashgood Porsche. Their details are on the screen. In fact, I bought my 964 Turbo from Ashgood Porsche. Really great guys to deal with. Not far from us in Hayes. Uh, have Not a look sure at what I think about that. They like something. Like Guys, let us know what you think about the flat nose. Really odd headlights. It's, an, it's unusual. Yeah. It is unusual. But Strange, it's like they've just nicked the headlights from that car and just like implanted them into the, into the 964. Strange one. But yeah, super yeah. Okay, so as if that Porsche race car on the Porsche stand wasn't enough, check this out. Porsche 956 Le Mans car. This was raced in 1984 and it's just something else. Look at the front end. Imagine, imagine where the driver's feet must have been. Imagine an impact on something like this. Back in the day, it was just absolute, it's absolutely crazy. Loving the old school BBS. Just, I love old school wheels. Proper used and abused BBS mag center locks. Look at the cooling and, and the ducts and things like this. It's absolutely insane. Again, just love like the old school livery, the old school typefaces and everything like that. It's so cool. But even, even looking at this thing here, this is insane. It's like a king, king size bed like, on the back. Mental. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this 956. Check out this Carrera, super clean, looks like it's fully resto, like fully restored. Real, real nice. Guys, what do you think of this Targa? It's got such a such an iconic interior retrim. Just just absolutely insane. Let me know what you think. I think it's stunning. Laupunk Bremen, always good to see. Yeah, real nice. Okay, potential one of the cars of the show for me. Awesome 993. Static, slammed on a set of BBS LMs. Absolutely loving it. What do you think? I believe this car has actually been around for quite a long time. No one's seen it for a long time. So, real nice surprise to see it out again, if it's the car I'm thinking about. Yeah, real cool. Guys, check it out. Our friend Bodge has made the trip up from Cornwall in his 964. I love the BBSs on this car. And he's got a set of Recaro A8s inside as well. Again, color coded on the back, retrimmed, retrimmed steering wheel. Pretty cool car, I think. Check this out. Wow, 964, BBS three piece, fully stripped out inside, well, mostly stripped out inside. You've still got the door cars, dash, real nice mumble steering wheel. The seats are gorgeous. It's got cage, half cage, and the motor. You've got to check out the motor as well. I don't know where to look. There's so many Porsches here. A sea of Porsches. Raj keeps getting stopped. I'm trying to make my way through the vlog, through the pitch, and Raj keeps getting stopped by every person we seem to walk past. <laughs> You've been stopped again. <laughs> I know, I know, just keep talking Porsche with so many people. That's the thing, there's it's a massive community, and since I've been in the Porsche brand, I've got to know so many people through work, through car shows and so on. That's pretty cool. What's this then? 
Backdate of some sort, RSR? Backdate, that word I said earlier on. <laughs> An RSR backdate. Wow. No idea what the engine is. Loving the wheels on this as well. These are like yeah, looks proper cool. period race wheels, three piece splits. Amazing scoop, scoop here. Okay, guys, that's about all we've got time for in this year's Megaphonics show coverage. Raj, what did you think of the event? What an event, and you know, we can't show you every car that's here. We'd love to, but this video will be like two hours long. We've seen so many Porsches. Such a variation. Yes, and there was an area we didn't even go into the water-cooled area. You didn't have time. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have time. To, uh, in fact, <laughs> uh, from here, I can see all the cars are rolling out. I'm like, I haven't seen that one, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, what a place, what yeah, a venue. Props to Frank and Box and Gas for putting yeah. on such a cool Porsche inspired event. We'll definitely be back next year. Oh, 100%, 100%. You know, uh, I've been here, it's now the fourth time. Yeah. Second time we've had a trade stand, fantastic event. It seems to be just growing yeah. every it's, year. It's also great that so many customers are coming up to us and they've already spoken to us. Yeah. They're putting, you know, faces to names with Jason and Matt and so on, which is pretty cool. So, if you're interested in Box and Gas, tap the uh, Instagram link below. Well, Give them a follow, give Frank a follow and see what it's all about. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We'll be bringing you a lot more very, very soon. Yeah, a lot more content coming, uh, shows which Henry tends to cover. Obviously, Raji's Garage, a lot more content. Uh, loads more car audio posts, car and coffee meets at Cardio Security. Guys, thanks for watching and we'll be back on the channel very soon.